What's up guys, it's your boy Metraptor, also known as Luxatus Patella. Welcome to another part of my Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets walkthrough series. Last time we did the Scourge Challenge and then we were forced to watch a lot of cutscenes and eventually this led to Harry having a mission from Hermione to actually collect some ingredients for the potions. So with that we can actually infiltrate the Slytherin's dormitory. But before we can do that, one of the first ingredients was Bicorn Horn which we need to get in the dungeons. Now, I would like to apologize already that we are in the map already. I mean, the last time where we actually gained control over Harry, we were still in Hogwarts. We could still move around. Now, I actually recorded me walking up to the door where this map actually leads to. Um, but then I screwed up somewhere and I tried to just say like, okay, let's just quit the game. We do the, uh, we do the recording session. But then suddenly the game has already auto saved me in here. So apologies for not showing the way from going to Hogwarts to this map, but I'll show you afterwards. It's not really difficult because it's only like literally you go all the way to the end, take a left and there's a door protected by Scourge and basically you're here. So you've only missed maybe like 10 seconds of walking. Still, apologies beforehand. So if we go to the menu screen, you see that there are seven secrets in this map. Now, the thing is, you can only access this map once. So try to make the best out of it, because once you miss a secret, you cannot go back to redo it. Um, this in comparison with the spell challenges, you can actually redo the spell challenges. Uh, and like I said before, I'm going to do that because I want to do the speed run as well uh, to get the most house points for each spell challenge. Um, but for now, we have to go and get the bicorn horn. So, yeah, let's try and get all the seven secrets in this map. And let's do this. So the first thing is, of course, when you're thinking is that, okay, if Snape stores his bicorn horn uh, in here, like in this map somewhere, you start to question yourselves like, really? Why, why, why would he design, why would the dungeons be designed like this? I mean, look, really, you have a platform that does this? Like, okay, it's kind of elaborate. In order for me to make sure to get to the bicorn horn. What if Snape needs bicorn horn? You really think that Snape is gonna go through all this trouble? Anyways, this is not a secret by the way. This is just a normal room. It has two chocolate frogs. In case you've already picked up some damage. Which I could understand. But we don't need it. What we're gonna do though. Don't, men don't, 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 don't pay attention to the shadows. What we're gonna do though is go in here, tip over the cauldron, get some more beans. We have 725. Lumos. Activate Lumos. You don't have to activate Lumos, but it is nice because you will see soon. It it's just convenient. And I think yeah, we have to go here. Rick to Sempra, the little pixie over there. Scourge. The thing that Lumos actually does, Scourge. it just creates platforms. Um, on this staircase, which would normally be pitfalls. So yeah, now you can actually stand on them, so you don't have to crisscross. Now you can just walk everywhere you want to. Kind of a lame use for Lumos, in my opinion, but whatever. Hey, I just showed you this, so let's move on. Alright. I actually like this section. I mean, look at this. I think this is one of the more creative uses of Scourge. Scourge! Again, I start to question myself, who would ever set up this thing that this part of the bridge could only be made when you actually flood the whole thing with this green goo, toxic waste kind of stuff. Yeah. Anyways, the first secret is on our right. Cool looking shape, whatever. Normally it has the shape of Harry's, uh, Harry's scar, but now it has another shape. That's the first secret, and it contains a silver wizard card. Nice. Turn around, we have a treasure chest. We open that, and then we get a bronze wizard card. It's a card fest today. 
Amazing. Oh boy, you see this room? Nothing could go possibly wrong, right? Right? Nope, you're closed in already. So that's cause for Plendo fl flipendo here. <laughs> Let's try to say flip flip flendo or whatever. <laughs> flipendo is the way to do it. I will be a poor wizard. Pronunciation is everything. Here we go, and then we have, of course, fire crabs, our friends. Now, one thing I would like to mention, because some people forget this actually, is that you can actually enter the cages uh, where you have to push the uh, fire crabs in. But look at this! There is some wigan tree bark and a couple of beans oh, in that one cage. It's pretty nice to know if we go to the other cage. And we do this, then hey, there's a chocolate frog. I'm gonna save that chocolate frog. Maybe the fire crab will like chocolate frogs. Alright, so it's time to actually push one of them in. And this is really annoying because the detection for Flipendo on each of these fire crabs to push them out of this cage already is kind of annoying. Alright, that one is in. If a frame drop, that's okay. So let's try and do this. Should not be too hard. Here we go. <sighs> of course, even though they're in their cages, they can still shoot at you. And this one, for some reason, got out. Okay then. Well then, I guess, like I said, the rules change when you are frapsing, when you are recording. Hitbox detection, no clip, whatever. Everything changes. So let's get the hell out of here. I activated Numos. It only acts, uh, it only shows you this platform, which you can use in order to access this cauldron, but there's not really anything else that you can do with this Lumos. So just break the Semper here. Let's do some more backtracking. Alrighty. And then we can use Scourge. It's so convenient that we have learned Scourge right in time. Because imagine if we had to get the Bicorn Horn before we had the Scourge challenge. Then, well, Harry would have no idea what to do. And then the whole mission would fail, and then, I don't know, the whole plot of the Chamber of Secrets would just be a hoax. So, very convenient that we have learned Scourge already. Alrighty, so what's next? Ah. Hello there. Please, please and try and make sure that you actually cooperate for once, would you? Again, we can check whatever is in these cages, and again, there was a chocolate frog in the bean. All lovely. Let's check the other one. And there are two beans in there. Well, it's better than nothing. Again, this is one of those little details that I like that, you know, exploration does get rewarded. Even if you try to see whatever is in the cage, just because you cannot access it whenever, you know, you push the snails in, you know, you, you still get rewarded. Not by a lot, but you still get rewarded. That's nice. Alrighty. And I seriously hope that these snails will actually stay in their cages. I'm kind of doubting of this one because it's kind of no clipping. So, uh. anyways, let's try use Alahomora and a wizard card. Very lovely. And let's try and progress some more. But before we can do that, we have to dispose of this little troll or gnome. I usually like to call you a troll. Alright, let's pick it up. Let's easily get backwards. We have to go here. Get ourselves a bean. Use Alahomora. All very lovely. Then we turn around. There is the second secret. It takes a while to open. Here you go. And what's in this treasure chest? 
Another silver wizard card. Amazing. We could go save it up, but I refuse. <laughs> I also like this uh, bridge. I really love it. It doesn't make any sense. Then again, we live in a magic world right now, so it's amazing. Alrighty, let's continue. First, we can crush these little spiders. Uh, yeah. One more. Here we go. No more spiders. We can actually dispose of the snail. That, that scream. And that. And the splash in the end. Oh my god. Alrighty. So. First we have to. Of course we have to open some more treasure chests. Ah. Uh, Peeves. Hey. Whoa. 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 Don't be aggressive Peeves. Get away you. Yeah. There's actually no point in fighting him. He will just go away. Didn't know he could attack though. Normally he never attacks. He just taunts you and that's it. Anyways, what I was about to say is, if we look down there, don't drop, but just look, you see there are four flipendo switches, and I guess you uh, kind of know what's going on here, it's a puzzle, and we pretty much have to make sure we can actually access to the next area, but there are three other paths that you can unlock, three, you know, three other paths that you can unlock, and there are all secrets. So yeah, there are three different secrets in here. So we're going to try and uncover them all. So the first thing that you would like to do... Push the green one, and you every time you push uh, the switch, it shows you the current changes and how the layout of the uh, puzzle is right now. We're going to push this one as well. And now we have created a path. So how to get down is by using this little elevator. Very efficient. There's also a troll here. Hello. Sneaky surprise. And there we go. So yeah, we have to go and get to the secrets. Which means that every time we have to go through this very nasty jump. Whew. Once again, I would not like to be a part of this goal. Here is the third secret. Open it up. Some beans. But also flubberworm mucus. This is pretty interesting that you can actually get these ingredients from treasure chests. I think it's the first instance where you actually can do this, so it's pretty yeah, it's pretty nice. But of course, if you want to go back, that means you have to jump through this again. Still pretty nasty jump, but it's doable. And then we have to use this elevator to go back up. So now we're going to go for the next secret, and even though there might be people out there who have a, uh, a quicker solution to get to the next path, I'm just going to do the way that I know, you know, I'm not going to try and change things up, I'm just going to do it my way, it might not be the fastest way, but it is a way, so just deal with it I guess. We activate this one, and then we can access the one on the left, so again we have to go down. And then we have to jump on this one. So here we go. Lovely. And then we can access this secret. Secret number four. Some more beans. And here we go. We get we get both flubber mucus and wigan weld tree bark. Lovely. Now we can make three Wigan Weld potions. That is amazing. So again, we have to jump back. And we have to do this process two more times, unfortunately. Yeah. Like I said, if you want to get every secret, this is what you have to do, though. So the next one, we have to activate both green. And we have to activate... What I think is purple. So yes, now we can actually access the one which is uh, on the north side. 
as I would like to call it. So yeah, here we go. We jump once again. And then we go through here and here and there, and there is the secret number five. So yes, we're beans. And Wigan Tree Bark. Amazing. But yeah, now we have actually discovered all the secrets in this little puzzle area. So now we can actually go and try to get to the next area. Because I'm kind of getting sick of uh, repeating this process. Oh, wrong elevator. <laughs> kind of getting sick of trying to repeat this process multiple times. So yeah. So in order to open the door, we have to use these three switches. Yes, blue. And the last one is red. So here we go. Now we can actually go to the next area. So let's go down again. Let's make sure that I actually get that jump right. And then we can actually follow the red carpet to the next area. Oof. Oh, this is also uh, a nice section, I think, of the game. It's just, you know, you're, you're probably thinking, oh, we're there already, you know? Oh, this is the stash of all the potions and items and whatever, you know? Wizard card. And indeed, uh, you can get some nice little items. First we have to cast Flipendo. But what I like about this room is that, you know, they just they just place beans on the shelves and you can actually also get some items. Like here you go. You can get some more flubberworm mucus because it just sits on the shelf. I think it's pretty awesome that they've done it that way. You can still get some items here and there. I think we've covered it all, though. Let's continue. Let's tip over this cauldron. And we're ready. Hey, Firecrab, what is up? Would you please not? Now, moment of silence, please, as I push this Firecrab into the wet water. <laughs> that splash. That's amazing. So, yeah. Let's go save it up here. Scourge. And then we have to do a section which, of course, every 3D action game should have. Some platforming and jumping and, oh god. Honestly, why? And again, this refers me to my question. Is it really necessary for Snape to go through all this trouble just to get Bicorn Horn, just in case he needs it for something? I don't know what other purposes Bicorn Horn has, but uh, pretty much Snape likes to protect his shit. Let's just leave it at that. Snape is like, you want to get to my stash? <laughs> well, you better learn some parkour. Then again, I think that's a common theme in uh, Hogwarts. Like, oh, you want to learn Scourge? You have to know how to parkour. Oh, you want to learn uh, Richtum Sempra? Yeah, you have to learn how to parkour. This was a very risky jump, by the way, but hey, like I said, parkour skills, man. Tip this cauldron over. And no, there are no secrets, no flippendo switches or anything on these platforms, which actually surprised me. And I also like that the game actually is like, this was a really difficult section, now you can save it up again so you don't have to do this trouble anymore. So I'm like, woohoo, let's save. Here we go. So now for the last area. We open this up. And there should be a troll somewhere within proximity. Here it is. And I'm like, you know what? Oh, it just vaporized. Okay, whatever. I'm cool with that. So let's uh, open this treasure chest, of course, for another wizard card. Amazing, we're getting so many wizard cards in here. Also, sup? Yeah, no time for you today. More beans, over 800 beans, that's pretty damn nice. Maybe we can get a thousand very soon. Let's dispose of you. No secret, no reward for disposing this fire crap. But still, it saves me a bit of stress. 
Alright, let's go up here. Dispose of all the icky green stuff. Uh, let's see. Yes, this is the way to go. We can hear another gnome or troll. There we go. We have to climb all the way up here because we have to push this piece of the wall. And then we have a Lumos statue. Pretty nice. So uh, let's activate it again, just for good measure. Let's get that one bean down there. Scourge. And I kind of want to dispose of this gnome before we go to the next area, just because. Can you please get out of your little hole? Please. I beg of you. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There you go. Now it's mine. So pick you up. Take a step back. Here we go. Two, two more beans. All this effort for two more beans. Let's uh, try to reactivate Lumos. Even though we have already uh, made sure that the area is already discovered, it's still good to actually activate Lumos. Because the transparency of the wall may actually glitch if you do not have Lumos anymore when you actually enter this room. It actually looks like a solid room. And... Well, that's not really good. Scourge! Here we go. Secret number six. Let's open it up. And there, there are just some beans. But like I said, we're gonna need beans for later. We're gonna need a lot of beans. Now, here is the thing that I would like to discuss with you. Because this is actually related to the seventh and last secret of this map. Now, you know that we are here right now. And there were two Scourge, um, two like pieces of goo uh, here and here. I disposed of them. So now with the Lumos, this area, this Lumos area, I can actually go through here and skip this entire, what is it, what looks like a broken bridge section, you know? So you're like, oh, let's do that. But no, because strangely enough, if you go through this way, so you have to do some more lovely jumping, you actually get rewarded with the last secret. This blows my mind on so many levels, but, you know, this makes it a very easily skippable uh, secret. I mean, of course, there are only beans in here, there's not really anything important, but still, you get rewarded for taking the hard way, to taking the most, the most difficult path. And I'll be honest, the first couple of times that I played this, and even during my practice one, I just did this, you know, I'm like, oh, hey, you know, we can just, oh, we can go through here, go through there, lol, I just skipped this entire area. But yeah, that also made, it, it caused also for me to actually skip or miss out on this secret. So now that we have discovered all the secrets, we can just go and finish up this level. And we are again in what looks like a stash area for some more potions. And we're trying to find where the hell is my fl... No, not my flubberhorn, mucus. We're trying to look for bicorn horn. What am I talking about? Here we go. So you're probably thinking, ah, okay, so probably if we just... There's the bicorn horn if you see really close. Like, if you can see just on the right of Harry's head, that's the bicorn horn. You can also see there are four beans nicely stacked on each other. So let's go grab them first. But Child endangerment! It never stops! Snape, you dick! Seriously though, trap doors? Pitfalls? What the hell, Snape? You really don't want me to get this bicorn horn. You really don't want anyone to touch on your bicorn horn. Seriously, what's the deal with this? Child endangerment. This, like again, bit of a jump scare for those inexperienced, but what the hell, man? Seriously. But finally, if you still manage to survive all of this, then yeah, you actually do get rewarded with the bicorn horn. But now I want to get my beans, because that was the main reason why I actually wanted to walk up there. Oh, lovely beans. 
And yeah, I think that is pretty much it. So now we can actually go grab the bicorn horn. Let's do the next section of the game.